Hello everyone, this is Charles1K92, also known as GM-65. Don't know why I had to dash in, but whatever. So, last time we just finished off clearing up Forley, and we just got ourselves out of the Animus. Uh, we spoke to both Sean and Rebecca. They have just told us quite interesting stories about one another. Rebecca must have joined the... Well, obviously Rebecca hasn't told us upon how she joined the Assassins, but... She's been around longer than Sean has, and Sean kind of explained his backstory on on how he got into the Creed. So, that's pretty cool. But now, the only thing that we have to do is actually pursue Lucy, since she's managed to uh, go, and we now can actually move about. We can run. So, we have that trait, apparently, now from Ezio, that we can run. Because clearly Desmond, Desmond had no idea how to run. So, we're just going to come down here and see what Lucy wants us to do. Oh, Lucy. So what's the plan? We're going to see what you've managed to retain. Come on. She's still covered up in blood, though, which is what I find to be a bit strange. Surely she would have cleaned but her shirt. goes out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped. So it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Whoa. Uh, Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. Bloody hell. Alright, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. A few of the records of his later animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through... After everything... I put him through... It's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed Sixteen so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. So you're after the Codex and the Vault? I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. Hmm. There is a slight bit of tone in Lucy's voice there, saying that she knew that Desmond had an ancestor in Italy that was behind all this. But, you know, I'm a bit skeptical about that. Okay, so we're just going to come over here. I think that's it. Desmond, over here. Yep. All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to 16 wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. Hmm. So we can kind of do like one or two things. We can actually continue on with the mission, which is to, you know, go back and get ourselves rested. Or we can just do a little bit more exploring. So, no spoilers intended, obviously, but I will just say this. So, 
after the events of um, this game, something's going to happen which is actually going to require the use of us actually using this vehicle. I reckon. So they wouldn't get rid of the car and have this here for no reason. But we've got it all here. So I'm going to guessing that this is what was used to probably move the Animus from point A to point B. And since um, Lucy said that Abstergo is much more well funded, they're obviously going to find out where everyone's hiding eventually. So, just being here in the short term, you know, is good, but it's not that good. But anyway, we're going to head back now, and hopefully we're not going to encounter anything too bad. Whoa. Knight's Templar. Desmond isn't looking so good. Who's that? What the hell? What is this? Where am I? It's Acre. Altair. How the hell? Not even in the Animus. I must have passed out. Just having some kind of weird dream. Oh, without sleep, who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Hmm. That must be his target. Let's take a little look at how Aiken looks. Wow. It's changed quite a lot. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why? No. Oh. Okay, let's get this sword out now. <sighs> Come on, Altair, climb. This way, if I remember, yep. Hey, it's the woman from Acre. What was her name? Maria, yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa, all right, wasn't expecting that.
It looks like he and her had a bit of a relationship. Wait a second. Why am I following all time here? I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh shit. Okay, so this is where people might misunderstand the whole thing of how the ancestral line somehow works. And I remember a few years ago, people kind of touched on this to say, hang on a minute, so does that mean that Ezio is a descendant of Altair's? No. Ezio and Altair have no bloodline relation whatsoever. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. Okay, so can I get back on... Oh, no. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry. Long night. What a professional, what a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Mm, madness, isn't it? Sean, please, that's enough. All right. All right. <laughs> It's only the British people, can, only us guys can just say that, going, alright! <laughs> alright, um, anyway. So when it comes down to this thing of like how the bloodline works, is this. So, Desmond's ancestry can be traced back to Altair. How, you might ask? Well, within his DNA, he has... I don't know how to put it, but let's just say that somewhere down the line, if you were to trace down perhaps maybe his father's side of things, there's somebody down his father's bloodline that will go down to the point of where maybe it's Altair. Alright? So that way he's able to see Altair's memories. And then if we were to take a look at the Ezio side, it probably comes down from maybe his mother's side of the family, which Ezio somehow has a connection with. Other people also have connections with many different ancestors, similar to how Subject 16. 16 somehow has a bloodline relation to Ezio Auditore. How you might ask, well Ezio was a ladies man and he did always sleep with women. So there is a potentiality that one of these women probably gave birth to a descendant of 16 and a descendant of De uh, Desmond. So that's roughly how it works, but then if you were to add in like the newer assassins that were added on in Desmond's lineage, so Desmond's connection to Altair and Ezio is one, then a connection to Edward Kenway, followed on with Haytham, then Connor, and obviously it roughly ends with that there. Now, I doubt he has a connection with Arno Dorian at all, because I don't see how that can be possible. And I doubt he has a connection with Jacob or Evie Fry since they're a descendant of somebody else. So Desmond's bloodline ends with the Kenways and thus somehow comes to this point of where he exists. So let's go find out why Lucy's so depressed. Hey. Uh, hi. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us just gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, safe and sound. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us, then what? When that happens, if that happens, we'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Anyway, Enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you. Hmm. Really, I'm fine. I promise. Okay, Rebecca. Can you talk to me? I guess not. How about Sean? Sean's always a good guy to talk to. Sean! Oh my god, we can't talk to anyone. No! I suppose that means we have to get back into the Animus. Alright, let's hop back in.
you got to admit, it must be somewhat pretty comfy to sit in the Animus. Anyway, so um, when you do obviously get back in, you get another trophy which says Bleeding Effect. So, yeah, so what we experience with like seeing the ghosts and shit, that's the Bleeding Effect. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Venice. Okay. As of right now, we're going to have to do one thing first. And I know it's a pain, but I want to be able to at least get myself over the point where I can just get this shit sorted out. Okay. So, if many people do remember the day that AC2 released itself on the E3, so you know when we had the trailer and it showed, obviously, um, Ezio's first appearance, it was set in Italy, so, or not, not Italy, set in Venice, so this was the city where he made his, his first ever appearance in the game, and of what he did, and eventually the trailer ended up over there, where that palazzo is, off in the distance, so that's where it ended off in and then we also got a demo later on which shows Ezio scaling a tower similar to this so all the towers are going to look like this that we have to scale and take a view over except for obviously some rare and nice buildings but anyway so I just want to get this viewpoint done so that way we can tell where every other viewpoint is okay so this is Venice it's quite a big map as we saw from actually physically looking at it. There are a few viewpoints here which isn't that bad. So we've got one which we've just done. Which we've just done. So one, two, three, four, only five viewpoints which isn't that bad which only gives us this section of the map. So I'm just going to do a leap of faith. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go around, collect, uh, not collect, do the viewpoints, and then afterwards we'll call it an episode, and then we'll start again and we'll, we will uh, go and do... Sorry, I had to focus in because of where he was going to go. Hopefully he wouldn't have ran away. So yeah, then we'll more focusedly go on to do either the treasures, I would say, or perhaps maybe something else. But anyway, so let's just quickly get this over with. So as you know, the Medici Cape obviously isn't going to work in this city since it's not uh, Florence, nor is it Tuscany. So the only cape that will obviously give us some form of protection is actually called the Venetian Cape. And the Venetian Cape actually grants us the same kind of immunity as, uh, well, as the Medici one. Pretty nice, yeah? Oh look, we found one of the Codex pages. Hmm. Okay, so where this Templar Cross is, it's another viewpoint. So how this is going to work out is probably when I do the viewpoints we're going to be going over to that Templar building and we're obviously going to collect the treasure that's inside. So this marks the second Templar building that we can gain access to. So Santa Maria Grossa di Frari. Now what will happen is story wise we'll actually have to come back to this place. So Reason being is we will acquire a new skill to use to actually scale 
uh, the building. Come on, boy. Hit me. Okay, that's sorted. So that's so that's where the uh, <laughs> door is to actually gain access. Now we can't actually do the viewpoint because we don't have the skill here. So we're going to have to go and do this viewpoint. Hopefully we'll come across a shop and where I can purchase a map. Now, there's more guards stationed, obviously, in this part, of, not in this part of the sea. There's more guards stationed on the rooftops here than anywhere else. Because, obviously, you've got a lot more tall buildings, and it's actually much more better to use rooftops to get around than there is uh, anywhere else. For reasons that everyone should know, that there's less traffic up here and there's less chances of you getting yourself caught you are not going anywhere come on buddy hit me whoa how did I okay somehow I lived Shit, I thought I had um Time to go. and everywhere there is fear. Thank God these guys can't follow me all the way up here. And finally, there's one more over here. Okay, so now we can actually get ourselves a metal armor set, so we get more health, and we can now buy more weapons as well. Tell your friends about me. And as us that interested party submit application, as your Carpaccio is no longer available. Now this to me is more of a parkour heaven. Oh, sugar. <laughs> okay. We just picked up the feathers, so we are gonna have to do them. God damn you. <laughs> the old saying, look before you leap, I now have to take it seriously. I can't believe I've done something completely... Very stupid.
Oh, man. Sorry about this, it's just, um... I just can't believe in my stupidity. I'm so, so, so bad. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Why, 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 why have I done something so stupid? Because you are very stupid. Yes, I am. I am very, very, very... Very, 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 so very stupid. Okay. See, now I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to... <laughs> stop the video here, and then start another one. So, speak to you later.